Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jasmine again. I'm back with another video. Usually when I'm in this spot, I'm having more of like a serious, you know. But today I'm going to be talking about advice that I wish I had or that I wish someone told me in high school. And this is going to be kind of real and fun at the same time. So before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to support me. Any and all support is appreciated. I don't know why I'm starting off with this. I usually put this at the end. Um, yeah. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, right at it, See me? I ain't gonna lie, I was a cringy kid in middle school. <laughs> So the transition from me, you know, in middle school to high school, you know, if anybody definitely had some embarrassing moments, it was me for sure. Okay? I definitely have. So, not that I regret anything. Like, I, I, I wouldn't, like, you know, say if I had the chance, I would go back and do it again. But, you know, this advice maybe would have helped me take the most out of my experience. You know, make the most out of it. So, advice tip number one. This isn't the peak of your life. Slow down. Enjoy being a teen. That's the biggest thing. In my head, as a teenager, you know, I feel like inside out, this is the perfect way that I describe it. You know, inside out, you start to get new emotions. And usually, you know, we don't know how to deal with those emotions. So we start acting out, you know, just acting how teenagers do. And we just feel like, oh, my life is over, this and this, and oh my goodness, you know, we start to discover anxiety, you know, and stuff just like the movie. And so, you know, in my head, I was just thinking, like, I really couldn't even see a, f I really almost to the point where I was, like, going through negative emotions, didn't even really see a future for myself because I was so stuck on oh, this is it, this is the peak of my life, this is everything, this is like, I just feel like I'm an adult, I just feel like, but I wasn't just being a teen, it's okay to just be a teenager, like, enjoy being a teenager, you have so much life after, like, make the mistakes, do the things, which is, you know, which I did, which is all part of life, but like, stop being so serious at such a young age, like, stop acting like you're in your 30s and 40s, and you're only 14 to 16 years old, well, no, 16 to high school ages is like 15 to 18 years old. Stop acting like this is, you know, everything. It's not everything. You don't need to keep up with these adults. You don't need to be doing all this stuff that they're doing. You know, on social media, a lot of people that I followed at the time were like older. They were like in their 20s when I was in my teens. And I would compare my life to theirs. First of all, slow down. You're only a teenager. Like, it's okay to not be doing what they're doing at 20 something years old. But maybe that's the, just the drive in me. Like, I always put, like, I always had that, like, go get a spirit. But it's okay to be a teenager. Like, I just shouldn't have been, you know, just slow down. Live in a moment. Appreciate the moment. Which I really had. I'm big on living in the moment, but. I could have lived in it more, you know? Okay, second piece of advice. People don't care like you think they do. Just do it. Stop thinking everyone's judging you. This is, I'm heavy on this because I don't really want to say I was the type of person that really cared because I wasn't even like a confrontational person. Like if somebody was talking about me, I wouldn't care enough to address it really if I know what's true about me. But when it comes to stuff like, I was just talking about this earlier. I used to be the type of like, say say my song come on, I'm out in public, and I'd be like, man, I wish I could get up and dance right now, but I just sit more like reserved. I wouldn't really let my full personality show. One, because I kind of was finding my personality, but I feel like I'm way, I'm way more outspoken now. I was so shy in situations that in my head, I wish I wasn't being shy, but like in person, I was just shy. I would freeze up, I wouldn't take advantage of certain situations like say we even in class and people cracking jokes and i'm just like i'm that quiet one sitting there 
laughing with them but low key i'm coming up with some funny stuff in my head and i want to say i'm like dang i got something to add to that but i'm like but what if they don't really laugh at me or what if they they don't mess with me like that and they're gonna be like jess and like nobody was talking to you so i was like i just didn't like i didn't i didn't like i don't know i was just i don't say my head a lot but i was in my head a lot like even when it comes to certain way that you want to wear your hair if you want to wear your hair a certain way, I wore wigs mostly through all of high school. Well, no, 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 after COVID, post-COVID in high school. And I wanted to try some styles on my natural hair and then I would try them and then I wouldn't like them and then this and this, I'm spending hours before school getting ready. Like who finna do all that, girl, please. If you don't show up with that, with that ponytail and call it a day, like, uh, like nobody's really finna be criticizing did you see the way that Jasmine came to school today? Like, nobody's thinking about that. Like, nobody's thinking, nobody cares. We're in high school, like, literally, people are gonna forget about tomorrow. That's nothing. People are literally gonna forget about tomorrow. Like, stop thinking, like, you know, when rumors go around high school, like, look at us now. We're all grown, we're all in our 20s and stuff, 20, 21, you know-ish. And, like, who's still, yeah, we might like reminisce on a couple of memories, but nobody's criticizing you for the way that you wore your hairstyle on a random Tuesday in eighth, ninth, tenth grade. Like nobody's nobody. I promise you, they don't care like you think they do. Answer them questions too. I used to be scared to speak in class sometimes because I just was like scared of judgment or something. But it's like just be you. Like if I could be this outgoing, don't give up. Jasmine that I am today back in high school like yes like yes and I ain't gonna lie like I was I was a very like secure person in high school it's just like sometimes I don't know you know but okay number three Keep up with yourself. It determines the type of young woman that you're going to be. Clean room, accessories, clothing. Okay, let me get into that. So keep up with yourself because it determines the type of young woman or young man, whoever watching this, that you're going to be. So when it comes to like, okay, cleaning your room, okay? You can't use the excuse of, oh, I'm only in high school. This is a typical dirty teenage room because when you get out of high school, your room's still going to be dirty. And you in freshman year of college, still with a junkie room, and you you enter in adulthood now, it's time to learn how to clean, okay? <laughs> that might have been a little too personal. Um, but yeah, keep up with yourself. The way that you, like, if you're active in activities around high school, you're likely going to be active in activities in college or whatever you choose to do after that. Making connections. Setting the tone for the type of person that you want to be in the future. So, like, the connections that you make in high school, they kind of do matter. Like, they really will determine what the next couple years, kind of, if you meet the right people, if you connect with the right people, you'll end up in good situations, good positions in the next couple years. So, take advantage of opportunity. Like, keep up with yourself also by, like, your grades. First of all, your grades are important. <laughs> Let me tell you. Because I was in high school during COVID, so... You know, I feel like everybody grades kind of flunk. We didn't know what was going on, but it was hard for me to bring them back up after that. And I kind of got comfortable in that laziness after COVID. But keep up with your grades when you, if you are considering going to college, especially. Like, it is so important because, my bad. It is so important because, like, that is going to matter. So, it's never too late, you know, senior year. Might be a little, you know, get on it if your grades ain't been good. You know, that cumulative GPA is going to matter. So, but keep up with yourself. Also, just the way that you keep up with yourself. Like, at, hygiene is important. All those type of things. Don't be going to school no type of way because that's setting the tone for the adult that you're going to be low-key. Like, a little bit. A little bit. Like, yes. I said you're not in adulthood yet yeah, don't rush it but also like the, the small things that you do in high school is kind of going to determine you know in college in high school is the time to oh when i said accessories so like don't just like high school is the time to try new things if you want to dress emo one day and you want to dress 
street the next day and you want to dress like a baddie the next day, try these different things because, you know, you're going to get out of high school and you're just not going to know where to start. So, like, if you if streetwear is your thing, which I wish, like, I really wish I had a streetwear wardrobe in my closet right now, but it's full of Shein and two-piece sets. I, I can't even lie to you. But if I would have started collecting, you know, little things here and there like it don't even i'm not saying go out and spend a whole lot of money on clothes no i'm just saying like if you have a passion for something even when it comes to hobbies if you have a passion in something invest in that in high school because by the time you get out of high school you're going to be good at it but i'm just saying like if i would have got a little belt a little a little jean a little t-shirt here and there in high school like okay of course i wouldn't be wearing the same and i might i might be wearing the same clothes from high school but i'm just saying like Basically, what I'm saying is, I need a water. Hold on. Okay, I am back. My bad. So, okay, yeah, just keep up with yourself. Hygiene, all those things matter. Keep a clean room. You know, stop using the excuse of, I'm just a teenager, you know, because it, it does matter. Number four, and this one is hilarious to me. Y'all not getting married, okay? You and that boy are not getting married. I'm sorry. No, I ain't gonna lie. Let me stop hating. I adore high school sweethearts. Like y'all might, it is a certain. It's like two percent or something of people that do. So if you in a committed high school relationship right now, I salute you, and I really do hope that y'all make it. But for the ones that may not be so, you know, I don't know. You know, just it's not the end of the world if y'all don't get married. Okay, it's okay. Like. I promise you, like, it is okay. Heartbreak, you know, heartbreak for teenagers can be bad. Heartbreak for teenagers can be, it can lead to you being sad. It can lead to all type of things. But I promise you, do not base your whole world off of one person. That's mainly what I mean to say when I say y'all not getting married. Do not base your whole world off of one person in high school, please. Seriously, like, there's a lot of people that make bad decisions off of, heartbreak and some people might even think that they don't even want to be here anymore because of they're going through a bad heartbreak i promise you is okay there's definitely light on the other side okay you're only a teenager if your age ends with teen just breathe you have so much more life so much more life i promise you like if y'all don't get married it is okay Oh, not every boy has to be your crush. Make friends. Not everybody that you talk to of the opposite gender has to. Y'all don't have to talk. And I know like a lot of people these days, they don't always be wanting to be friends. Like, what happened to just being friends? I, I still have that problem to this day. Like I always say, I give a great home girl. Like why we can't just be cool? Like, but it's okay to just have friends. Make you some friends of the opposite gender. I feel like that will make life fun. Okay, number five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is very important. So, I know I've been playing a lot of stuff, but listen to me. And I'm going to tell you this. Hold my hand when I say this. Look into colleges early, okay? Don't be like me and wait till 12th grade to decide what college you want to go to and only a yeah just just look into colleges early it is okay to you know do your research this is the time don't keep postponing it and i know covid did happen during like my high school so that threw off like the whole second half of my high school experience but even like ninth grade ninth grade isn't too early like ninth grade is not too early 10th grade you know just consider do research and take them grades serious okay because they will matter. Social media. Okay, number six. This is my last tip of this video. Social media is not real. Don't compare your high school experience to grown people. I forgot I added this on here. I kind of said this in the first one. But yes. Like I said, I was following people that was like grown, older. Compare my life to theirs. Like, first of all, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. Like, you're just a teenager. Just be a teenager. Like, enjoy life. Like, like Kevin Gates said, don't ask yourself why me. Say, why not me? I was built for this. 
You know, when you go through things as a teenager, just look at it as a molding moment. It's shaping you for who you're gonna be. Excuse me. It's shaping you for who you're gonna be. It's, you know, I believe that we're not given anything that we can't handle. And if you're given a lot, it just means that, like they say, to whom much is given, much is required. If you feel like you got a lot on your plate, just know that that blessing, that blessing finna be just as intense as the pressure that you was under, okay? So just, just remember that, just remember that. Think of the positive. And don't compare your high school life to people. First of all, they're only posting the good parts anyway. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they had to go through to get there, to do that, whatever. So just don't ever, you know, just, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all of my advice. Well, not that's not all of my advice, I feel like. That's not quite. But that's, that's the most important things I could think of right now about high school. Be you, love you, enjoy you, be the best you that you can be every single day. Um, don't post yourself crying on Instagram. Don't post no crazy thirst traps, no nothing like that. Don't don't be on here doing what everybody else is doing. Stop, 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 stop. Just be you, be yourself. Embrace who you are. Like, if you're crazy, if you're cringy, be cringy. And whoever got something to say about it, just let them talk. Yeah, that's all I can think of right now. So I hope everybody has a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching my video. Whoever is watching, thank you. I appreciate it. Leave a like on this video. Um, any and all support is appreciated. So if you just like, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. I'm not going to force you to. But if you do subscribe, we locked in. I appreciate you. And that's it for this video.